Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 22nd of 2022, well, it is titled Illustration and Early Quasar. So what do we see here? Well, we see an example of a quasar. Now, this isn't an image of it. This is actually a drawing showing what we think an early quasar might look like. And these are quasars that go back to the early history of the universe. Our universe being about 14 billion years old, here we are looking at an age of less than 1 billion years, or about 700 million years after the Big Bang. So the universe was very young at the time and of course much smaller as we know the universe expands. Therefore long ago things were much closer together and they have since spread apart over time. Now the quasars are believed to be powered by a supermassive black hole. And that's what we would see at the center here. And the supermassive black hole, as the galaxies collided together would have been collecting a lot of material and in fact far more material than a black hole could today. Today galaxies are spread out and collisions do occur but they're rarer than we see long ago. So when galaxies were constantly colliding and you would not even finish one collision or multiple collisions going on at the same time, the black hole would be getting fed. Material would be spiraling into it. And we see that bright accretion disk of material being being pulled into the black hole. Now the material is not pulled in directly it because it's spinning it spirals in slowly and heats up to very high temperatures and that central region will give off a lot of x-rays and a lot of energy as it spirals into the black hole and it's possible that 10 or 20 even 20% 20 of the matter could be converted to energy now i've heard of einstein's equation e equals mc squared well you're converting a lot of matter and it will give you an even a more, a more enormous amount of energy produced so when our sun when our sun produces energy by converting hydrogen to helium there is a mass difference of a fraction of a percent which is enough to power the sun here we're talking tens of percent of the material that is being converted from matter into energy and that is a very efficient process for producing energy so it gives off a lot of a lot of energy and making these some of the brightest objects that we can see and those very bright objects can be seen back to the early history of the universe. So we can see the quasars, certainly not in this much detail, but we can see and study these quasars even over immense distances because they are so bright. Distances over which ordinary stars would have long since been invisible and even galaxies would not be very hard to see or invisible. But these individual, mat individual materials swirling into a black hole and pulsing out material in the form of jets and we see one of those jets pushing off towards the upper left here are visible and easily visible close to the edge of the universe. So that was our picture of the day for February 22nd of 2022. It was titled Illustration and Early Quasar. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.